what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Word on the street is R&B singer Usher and R&B singer The Weeknd got into a rumble in the jungle and OG Usher won. Now, if reports are true, I gotta, gotta say this disclaimer because, you know, I just talked about this girl, Masika from Love and Hip Hop, who faked her own kidnapping. She had the nice little old uh, makeup kit thing going. Bruises look really real. So, if the reports are true, the weekend got paws put on him. Dude stepped out with two black eyes, a busted lip, and a busted nose. He looks pretty bad. If that's makeup, that is a damn good job. Now, word is they've been beefing for months behind the scenes over what Weekend believes, the Weekend believes, is a song that Usher actually stole from him. He said back in 2012, Usher made a song called Climax, and it sounded very, very similar to one of his songs. And he said, in fact, when he first heard it, he said to himself, that's a weekend song. So allegedly, that's what the beef is about. Now, if you don't know, Usher got training hands. And I say training hands because training hands are a little different from fighting hands. You know, you can have fighting hands and training hands, but if you only have training hands, it means that you really haven't been tested. You dig what I'm saying? So... Usher, if you can recall, played Sugar Ray Leonard in Sugar Ray's biopic. So he had to go through the training courses, the rigors of boxing training, you know, the running and the, the sit-ups and the hitting the punching bags and the sparring and, you know, the speed bag, all that stuff that go with boxing. And he also had to, you know, practice a certain regimen. Well, you can kind of get away with that if you're acting, but you can't really get away with that regimen if you're really fighting because your body is going to give you up once you get into real combat because it's totally different from a street fight. You know, the average street fight lasts seconds. You know, it's like ding, ding, fries and shake, fight over, right? In boxing, you can go upside a dude's head and pound him <laughs> for rounds and he may not fall out. He may not fall because he's trained, he's conditioned to absorb to absorb blows. He's uh, conditioned to absorb the punishment. So being in an actual contest is a lot different than just punching bags and ain't nothing punching back at you. You dig what I'm saying? But apparently, Usher learned a thing or two, and he put that train into use right upside the weekend's head. Man, say, man, these, these, these U.S. Uh, R&B singers are a little different from uh, these Canadian R&B singers. <laughs> I don't know why, why. This is not really a funny thing. This is really serious, but... I just never thought I'd see the day day when R and B singers are fighting each other. You know, this is one of them things that you know you. This is commonplace for rappers, right? You expect that from rappers, but R and B singers, come on, man, looking for the crooners, man. Like, come on, man. Can you guys just sing it out? You know, like whoever hit the highest note win, something along those lines. You know. Or whoever can hold the note the longest win. Considering everything going on in the world today, social unrest, police brutality, 
unemployment at an all-time high, the pandemic, it would be beautiful if those two brothers could come together and do a song. They should call it The Weekend in ICU. Usher can do the hook, the left hook. <laughs> all right, all right. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>